What's going on everybody? This is the beginning of our deep dive series going through every single map that you will encounter Diamond 2 and above. So if you haven't already, make sure to watch the key mechanics video. It'll be at the card at the top. Pause this video and then jump on back. We are starting with Windy Way and we are going to go through the track, talk about some of the shortcuts, the methods that you need to use in order to get through this track at an unreal pace. And then we're going to jump into a race that I had done and where I'm going to talk through some of the decisions that I've made and that we'll make throughout the track. We'll pause and look at key decisions. But for now, Windy Way, uh, again, if you've watched my other videos, I'm all about consistent uh, routes throughout. But uh, this has been an updated, this will be an updated route from uh, from earlier. And uh, we just got to look at, uh, so off the start, we're going to go on a little boost there. We're going to get a boost. And I like to go through the tunnel. Uh, this is what I'm still using. I'm currently number 39 in Unreal. Uh, I think it gives us a good boost. And we always have to remember that in game, there is uh, there is the catch-up mechanic that takes effect. Um, so always have to keep that in mind. We don't necessarily need to be out front at the beginning of the race. So we'll do a lap here. And then uh, and then we'll go over and we'll talk about some of the things. So off the rip, we wanna you can just send it over this section. We're gonna boost around here. And then like you saw in my first lap. I came out here, did a little boost, and then held it, rolled, and into this tunnel. We're going to get a boost here, straighten out, and then another boost, and we want to hold this boost right through these green pads, boom. You can fly to almost this tunnel section, and then start getting our other boost section in here. Hold the boost, and fly off here. Hold, and once you see your uh, speed go down, Fire up your boost and cross that whole section. All right, we want to get a boost, straighten out, and then you want to hit these. Oh, well, straighten out. You want to hit these at an angle. So you want to be here, and you want to angle your car across here to be able to hit two of them. So if you listen there, we just hit two of those boosts. That'll get you up to a thousand. I just died. And then you want to boost out of there. So we'll do it on the last lap at speed. So again, you're going to fly over here, down, get a boost, straighten out, boost, hold your drift button, flip into this tunnel, get some good speed there, straighten out and hold this boost all the way through into this green pads, fly through here, get a nice drift going, and a nice drift around here, and straighten out, and we'll boost right across. Now this is tricky to get those two boost pads, but with more practice, uh, you'll be able to nail it. And what we're gonna look to do is straighten out, direct our car, I missed it, but you can flip. And there we go, there's our windy way session. So if you have to pause the video to go back, check out those routes, and those are the same routes that we're gonna use uh, in the race that you're about to see. All right, here we go. We are now in the race, getting ready. We're going to try to get a good start here. My starts aren't the best, so let's see. All right, so 40%, not that great. So we're going to be in the pack. We have to recognize that immediately. Right here, we notice these two guys, LLMI and that green car next, are going to be sliding out wide. So we want to direct our car right to that inside line and avoid Coop Troop, LLMI, and that Barry guy. We want to point our nose there and get a good drift and an exit. So we get through there. And now we're in a pretty good spot. We're going to go through the tunnel, do a slide, and then another slide here. Just try to stay away from that car to the left. Hold the drift, get this good boost. Get a few drifts here. Now, we've gone offline. What, I, what we need to recognize is that immediately if you're going to start floating through the air and we have a drift, we're immediately going to hit that drift button to try to hold that and keep that 
intact. So now we land, we get that boost, and we're in this whole mix of cars. So because we got bumped around, we're now in a poor spot to hit this shortcut. Our speed, as you can see, it's 706. It's not that high. We have to make a decision here. We're thinking, do we take the shortcut? 706 is not a great speed to hit it, or do we go down low and build up some boost and use the catch it mechanic? So I chose to go down below. We're gonna build up some boost, build up some more boost. We're gonna try to stay off the red area on the right. And right here at this point in the race, we're thinking, okay, we're way behind. We're gonna utilize the catch it mechanic and we're shooting for a podium spot. Now we're shooting for top three. The win is probably a little bit away from us. And we've caught up to the pack a little bit. We're, packed, we're caught to the pack, but we're not quite where we want to be. So again, we're going to do the same thing. Drift to that inside, avoid those cars. Now we're going to drift through the tunnel. We have that extra boost. We know we have that extra boost. So that's what we're thinking. We have that extra boost. We're going to want to hold this slide as long as we can. We're going to hit those green boosts at the top of the screen there. And we're going to utilize our turbo. We've saved it up. We can't keep accumulating more turbo than that, so we're gonna utilize it and hopefully fly past and get in a good position for the rest of the race. So we're gonna hit that turbo, get some good speed, and now we're in first. This time we had a good exit and we can utilize the boost here, fly through, dodge those cacti, and get some good drifts in here. We'll get some drifts, get some drifts. Like we said earlier in the video, you want to be hitting this at an angle. I didn't quite hit it there at quite the angle to get the two. But now we're heading to the last lap, we're in second. Again, we set our target for top three in lap one, so we're okay here. Again, we're going for a consistent route that's going to place us in the top three, so we're going to go through the tunnel again. And this will give us one more boost than everybody else has for the end of the race. Again, we're gonna try to get a good drift through here. Not great, our speed is super low. We wanna to try to stay off that. If we had got a good exit out of that corner, we wouldn't have had any problem staying in front of those two cars. So we're gonna to try to hit our boost here. And again, we didn't hit that appropriately, but we have another boost. So we're gonna end up passing one car and get a third place. So as you saw, not the cleanest run on Windy Way, but that is the thought process when you might get a little bit behind. I hope this video helped you out. You'll be able to navigate Windy Way a little bit better and get some insight as to what's going on inside the head of a, uh, of a top 50 player. This series is going to continue. We're going to do a deep dive on all the tracks that we're going to encounter diamond and up. So please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and make sure your bell notifications are on to get alerted when we go live and when a new video drops. Until next time, stay safe.